so I'm going to take out uh, this from here okay and then put it to my power supply which is uh, EcoFlow model uh, EcoFlow model and uh, EcoFlow River 2 model so I'm going to put it over there bring it closer Yeah, so I've, I've connected it and you can see the power light coming up it's red and then if I see nothing yet still powering up okay so there is a constant red light once you input once you uh, basically connect the power and then it flickers when it flickers only when it flickers you have these messages inside right so if you see this one over here starting up please allow for a few seconds and then smart eye sky sapphire global right so we're waiting i kind of like this logo uh, pegasus astro on the top and then smart and then they've made an eye and i think that's a comet and there are stars in the background and then you have this E and then Y literally, you know, picking up that I and then E. Yeah, so I think it went blank. Let me see. So it is blank as of now. Uh, it has been four or five seconds. The red light is still on. It is constant. It is not flickering. I also put a SD card, uh, a micro SD card, which is about eight GB. I'm not sure if it is really sufficient. But I'm going to use it. Uh, light flickered. Yeah. Can you see? The light is flickering yeah and then let me take a look ah, not yet so the light is constant now if you can also see so i was talking about you know the logo it 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 really looks nice so you have this pegasus logo and this part i, I it really nice. the colors are also beautiful these are uh, the only trouble that i had was uh, I have and then you can already hear the fan sound yeah the fan is here I think this is the this is the inlet and that is the outlet so that is how it cools the camera so it's nice but it is slightly noisy I was talking about the colors the colors are really nice blue and black color really looks wonderful in my hand right I wish I can put it on my telescope but it's clouded now so I can't do it uh, yeah so initial feedback initial impression was that this thing over here the rubber cap over here it is attracting a lot of oil uh, from my face I mean I'm I have oily skin and it's really oily uh, so this thing picks up oil very fast I'm gonna look it look into the something came yeah something came up let me let me read what is it or I can show you as well so that star looks pretty nice. What it is? What is it doing? So it says, with the blue wrapper under the eyepiece, uh, press the side button and done. Okay, hold on. So it says, turn the blue diaptering around the eyepiece until the infographic is sharp. Infographic is sharp. So that is the blue. We also called as uh, the astro crown. Looks nice. So they say press it. I'm gonna press it, and then the message changes and then i have the main menu here right so if you see yeah the main menu the, the screen is really nice it is oled and the screen really looks nice i mean from the camera when i'm taking a live view uh, it's difficult but whenever you know it is in the focus it looks really nice the main menu you have live view new observation I'm, I'll, I'll cover the menu later but today is only the update part so let me go and check what is the software update current uh, version and bring it up yeah so i think it is updated if you look the current version is 108 firmware version 108 software version 1.0.2 sky safari package to 2025 so we were able to successfully update the software in smart eye from Pegasus
Astro. If any questions, let me know.